happy holidays and welcome back to celebrate the season. Imagine being a child and thinking for some reason Santa Claus forgot you. But CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge tells us about an organization that makes sure the holiday magic stays intact for children and their families. You want a skateboard and a lifesaver. And I want um, a blade blade. I want the Jordan. The Jordan ones. Shopping for Christmas for these three siblings is a big expense. Their mom, who goes by Mrs. T, is a home health aide. She says her budget for groceries doesn't leave much for gifts. At one point, I couldn't even afford a Christmas gift. And for me to get the Christmas gift, put it underneath the Christmas tree, and to see that joy on my kid's face, that was the best day of my life. It's made possible thanks to a group of elves with the nonprofit Stockings with Care. We need to put a gift card in each one. They're working out of a socially distanced Santa's workshop hidden on the 10th floor of a midtown high rise. We're sorting this group of presents, um, just making sure it's what the child wanted. This is the head elf, Rosalie Joseph. It was always about the children. She started Stockings with Care 29 years ago after volunteering at a toy drive and seeing the dim expressions on kids' faces. They were grateful, but she could see they weren't lighting up getting the exact toys they dreamed of. What do we have to do to make every child feel you know, they weren't forgotten. So she found an army of Santas, individual donors and corporations, who each year buy kids gifts from their wish list. And then they deliver them anonymously to parents before the holidays. With stockings, with care, the parent is the hero. Somehow the parent found a way to get gifts for their child. Joseph's team pairs up with several social services agencies around the city to find deserving families. This is done in a way that the children don't have to acknowledge their poverty. They, the children, if they're young enough, they assume that this came from Santa or the mom or the dad. And that's perfectly fine, not from a social program because they are a family in need. It's like a giant secret Santa the kids and volunteers never actually get to meet. And though they don't get to see the kids' reactions to opening the presents, hearing about them like a little girl getting the perfect baton is why they do this. The little girl just twirled it all day and was as happy it just brought her so much happiness in the midst of all their pain. Preserving the love and dignity of family. For a parent who is barely a not can make certain things happen, it is very grateful because without this group, I don't know if my kids would have had a happy Christmas. But this year, they got to experience Santa's magic. Coming up, a COVID survivor finds an even deeper meaning to Christmas. And the Girl Scouts promise makes the season even brighter for one troop. Among the many things we're missing this year are the live performances that are so much a part of the holidays. But many are still out there virtually. This is the Alvin Ailey Dance Troupe and one of their many performances posted online to enjoy.